The Roseville Joint Unified High School District is making headlines again this week over its decision to ignore the state's indoor mask order for students. KCRA 3 today learned that the district could actually now lose its liability insurance. Stephanie Lynn is live for us with what this could mean for this school district and also others choosing not to follow state issued health orders. Stephanie. Right, Edie. Well, we just connected with experts here at the McGeorge School of Law. They tell me that school districts that choose not to follow state public health guidelines could face some pretty serious consequences. There will be legal consequences. Legal experts weigh in on the possible ramifications facing school districts choosing to defy state public health guidance. Civil liability, that means money. It could be criminal liability, money or jail time. And it could also be loss of insurance um, for any liability that they have. A reality now facing the Roseville Joint Unified High School District. Its board of trustees voted to lift indoor masking for students just last week. I'm just asking that you give our kids the choice. The consequences of that move could be coming. KCRA 3 obtained this letter sent from the school's insurance group to the Board of Trustees on Thursday. It warns the district could lose its liability insurance over the decision to drop face coverings. They're immediately liable for anything that stems from um, not obeying state law and not having the mask made, mandate in place. Legal experts say additional consequences could include potential loss of COVID-19 disaster relief funding, possible liabilities to district workers alleging retaliation for following state guidance, and potential civil injuries caused by COVID-19 infections. Down the road, they could lose the ability to band together with other school districts and purchase insurance if that group decides to take action to remove them from the group. Roseville's 500 member teacher association telling KCRA 3 the school board is knowingly placing our district's liability insurance at risk. Our educators are concerned that the board's decision unnecessarily exposes our district to lawsuits and risks our district's fiscal stability. If they don't have a safe workplace, then in fact they can get in trouble with the Occupational Safe and Health Administration and so fines could happen because of that. And I also did reach out to the school district and the school board for their perspective and their response to all of this. And I did just hear from them about 20 minutes ago. They tell me that they are working on a response for us and they should have that for us by this weekend. Reporting live from Sacramento, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News. Stephanie, thank you. And we should mention we also reached out to state authorities about how they plan to enforce indoor masking. The state health department and the state school superintendent didn't respond to the question directly, but Superintendent Thurman's office did share that he, quote, respects local control and understands the difficult choices districts need to make in order to keep schools open and safe. They continued, quote, at this time, the state's public health officials have determined that masks should continue to be worn indoors on school campuses.